This is the story of Bob Me, a young woman with a goal in mind and the determination to get it. Can she bring peace or will chaos consume her? Young and wanting to bring change to the land, she walked back into her hometown. Fa Mi, not knowing how she was going to bring peace, used the only skill she knew, raiding. She gathered troops and followed the wisdom of her elders. One of her elders even took a vow. Gi Kyodai to a Inochi Sai Azukeru Mono Anata Nara Nan no Huan Monai Kono Tashini Nat Techiga Tagiri Ore Unusto Norbe Dokuma de Motataka Isaja. Months had gone by, many towns and traders had been raided by the two. They got more than weapons and money. They grew a bond. Leaving the old man in the east where he would maintain power, Fa Mi went north with her troops towards the water seeking a deadly pirate. After meeting the woman of the sea and enduring a tough battle, there they stood looking at one another, both bloody and beaten. It was at that moment they realized they were meant to fight together. She too swore a vow to Fa Mi. Once again, traveling after gaining a new ally, almost ready to make a stand and take over the kingdom. 
She goes to the jungle where she meets a wild man and his tribe, a tribe that was at war. During a surprise attack on the tribe, she helps defend it. Impressing the tribe's leader, he makes her an honorary member and even offers to marry her. Once again traveling after gaining a new ally, almost ready to make a stand and take over the kingdom, she goes to the jungle where she meets a wild man and his tribe. A tribe that was at war. During a surprise attack on the tribe, she helps defend it. Impressing the tribe's leader, he makes her an honorary member and even makes an offer of marriage. Now Fa Mi with her three powerful allies, an army and wealth, she sits in her mobile command chair thinking. She is now ready for real war. She is ready to take over the kingdom and soon the empire. Lining up her troops in formation, Fa Mi lets them know how proud she is of them, how she is glad to end this day in death or success beside them. She lets them know they are outnumbered and the strategy they must use to win. She can see the fear in their eyes, going from noble raiders and bandits to an army. With a powerful roar, they raise their weapons in the air, ready for a fight. Tired and limping, here the new ruler stands. Once a merciful raider, now a queen of her own kingdom. She stands again before her people, looking through, seeing faces no longer there. Saying a prayer for the fallen and cheering those that made it. She looks to her sworn generals and a smile forms. Now she has a kingdom, but to bring full peace, she will need the empire. <laughs> 